Hello, everybody. This is the antenna. You know, I had asked the antenna companies to send me a... All right, when I laid it out of the box, this right here is what it looks like out of the box. I'm a, I'll show you how to put this thing together. This right here is supposed to be a rotor. And this is a remote control right here for the rotor. And uh, here's the rotor. It's pretty lightweight, but I mean the antenna's lightweight too. And it comes with coax. And uh, this right here. And then it's got a reflector there. Alright, I'm going to kind of start putting this thing together and if I see anything I need to show you, I will. Before I get started, I'm going to show you a few antennas of mine. This right here is a video I got of how to make an indoor TV antenna. And man, this video right here is it's steady. People steady watching it. And uh, this right here is my last one that I made. And that, now, this one right here is this video right here is, uh, of this antenna is liable to be number one. Uh, take a look right here, you know. I got a video of that booster. I hadn't got too much about the antenna, but the antenna is in the demonstration I do. A fractal antenna that I made. And I actually got a test of that versus this ultimate antenna. Now I really hadn't looked at this for like five seconds. And I see that that uh this is supposed to bend out. And then this is gonna bend out. And this is gonna bend out and this. And then I, you know, I kinda didn't know what on first glance I kinda didn't know what to make of everything, but but like when I, when I stood there and stared at it for just a few seconds I realized what all you know, they have to make this stuff pretty good because, man, they know y'all send it back in a heartbeat, you know. See right here where these two pieces join together, and they sent some little uh, clamps, you know, that go on here. And then this reflector right here, it just slips over that, and it's got a, it's got a little plate right here, you know, to stop it. And see, there's, there's two holes right here. And one of them goes over that little thing there to hold it in place. And then, uh, that sits like that right there. All right, this right here is the directions. It's got six pictures. And then it's got that on that side. You know, I'm not going to be using this right here. I'm doing this for y'all. These go right here. I done put one here. And then the back... The bat's got two, and they are, they go the same way. And that box over there says this thing is effective up up to 120 miles. So we're gonna find out about that. I'm gonna take it right down the road here, and uh, because I can't get Augusta from my house because of the trees, but I'm gonna take it about a quarter of a mile down here on our church land. And uh, well, I'll, I'm gonna I'm gonna uh, turn it toward Macon and and do a scan, and then I'm gonna turn it toward Augusta and do a scan. All right, come, it come with a fairly fairly small amount of uh, coax with it, and I'm gonna uh, show you show you this here. I'm I'm gonna go ahead and try this rotor uh, because they not no electricity where I'm go, gonna be going. All right, something you. Something you'll find out pretty quick. When you in the house and doing this right here, hey, you don't have no idea which way your antenna is pointing. You could get it just hitting. And I'm gonna show you something right here that kind of threw me for a loop. Now, this says, uh, this goes to your TV, and this is where the antenna comes in. But look at this right here, coming out of it. Now that had me for a couple of minutes. I said, what the hell is that? But man, it's for another TV. But right, I'm gonna show y'all the scenario here. I got two laptops out here, and they 
uh, both had them uh, Hapod software on them. I do have two laptops. And uh, here's the power supply that runs that booster to this antenna here. This 360, whatever it is. But uh, I got it turned toward making. I, you know, you see which way it's pointing. That's the way it's pointing there. And uh, and I got uh, one of the ultimate antennas out here. And uh, it's pointed, it's also pointed toward making. What I'm going to do is I'm going to scan this thing. I'm going to scan these things and then we're going to turn it toward Augusta and see what they'll do. I don't like the picture of my wife. No, I was just kidding about that. I'm going to show you the real one at the end of this video. Alright, see I'm on the, the All Channels tab. And what I'm going to do is right click and select all. And I'm going to delete all the channels. Alright. Next I'm going to hit Device. This this is the, uh, the 360 antenna, the one I put together. I'm going to click Tuner Setup. And I'm click this, and that, and that, and now it's uh, scanning the channel. That's going to take it a few minutes, but uh, look right here. Okay, this is laptop number two with the ultimate antenna on it. And I've been already done deleted channels. And I'm going to start this in scanning. Let you see they both scanning. And uh, I'm going to speed this part up. And then we're going to see what we got. Alright, I'm going to show you something here. Uh, it got every channel except three. Now this, this right, computer right here is the 360. All right, now I don't know if I said it or not, but this 360, it missed three channels, and it missed three important channels. Uh, it missed CBS. Now, I've got the signal meter on it, and you see that it's a 22, and this other one, I wound up having to shut the camera off. Uh, you see, it's on the same channel, uh, and it's a 27. That's that ultimate antenna for you. Now, I'm fitting to scan it for, for Augusta, but let me tell you something about that 360. I noticed, like when I was messing with it, it's got a real wide span. I mean, you have to turn it a long ways before the signal meter moves. All right, now, I'm fitting to, uh, I'm fitting to turn the antennas. I'm fitting to turn both of the antennas toward Augusta, and we're going to see what they'll do. All right, you see... I done turned both of the antennas toward Augusta. I done deleted all the channels. Got it ready to go. I got it ready to go. I'm going to get them both, uh, both scanning at the same time. All right, now, you know I'm turned toward Augusta. All right, this right here is complete. Now, this is the 360 here. It ran out of gas. You see the channels it's got there. You know, uh, looks like about seven or eight or something like that. I ain't counting. All right, now here's the the other one. And uh, y'all, I see this all the time. Uh, putting these antennas up. I'll slide the little bar here. See what that ultimate antenna does. All right, I'm gonna. Uh, I'm going to put it on a TV station in Augusta. Now, see that 6.1? That's an Augusta station. And you see the signal strength there is a 27. And I've never seen this meter right here go over 27. All right, I'm going to spin back over here to the 360. And now, that's picking it up out of the side there. That's making. It didn't get no Augusta. The 360 didn't get no Augusta channels. But it's getting that out the side there with a 20. Now I'll put this ultimate antenna on the same station. Uh, and, let, and let's see what it's doing out of the side. 
All right, see the channel 24? That's the that's the same channel that that's on right here. You see that signal is 21. That signal is 25. All right, y'all, I'm fitting to wrap this up. And here's that picture I was talking about. 